Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Elia in this incarnation. Today I'm here to talk about the energies of this week. So as always, we have a full moon or a new moon. That is the most important event. That is what gives the color and the energy of the, of the entire week. So in this case, we are talking about the new moon in Aquarius in a square with Uranus in Taurus, which um, I've already talked about. And the next event, important event that we have is uh, the entrance of Mercury in Aquarius and the conjunction that is going to produce with Pluto in the degree zero of Aquarius. So um, I've talked about this already in the video in the, in the video of the energies of the um, last week and in the video of the new moon. Mercury is the planet of communication associated with our mental processes. Uh, in this position, is talking about new ideas and to observe also the experiences with detachment, with um, a certain objectivity. I don't know if, if that word exists. So um, I am going to add that this conjunction with Pluto uh, could bring a lot of information of the shadows. I mentioned this, but could be linked with old traumas uh, or information that is linked with uh, abuses too. Uh, so it is a good moment to, to do a process of illumination of shadows. And uh, something else that we have to observe is the way we are communicating because um, maybe we can say things without filter or... Uh, things that were like um, guarded in some way. So it's important how we are emitting those things. And uh, other thing that I wanted to, to say is that we are going to feel the energy of Pluto uh, the whole month um, practically because the, the 8th, uh, on February 8th, uh, the moon is going to do a conjunction with Pluto. That day we could feel a lot of um, the sensation of, of being ungrounded in some way uh, and some fears could could emerge in order to recognize them so we can work in our personal power and make the changes we really need to heal or to advance in our path because we are talking about um, emotion emotional energy the the moon uh, is the regent of our emotions and and the unconscious too so uh the next week we are going to have other transits with Pluto, so Pluto is going to be very, very active. It is going to be a, an intense and, and transformative month. So uh, then I, I wanted to mention Mars in Capricorn because it is already uh, creating a sextile with Neptune in Pisces. This is perfected on February 7th and its Biden is on, tra on track uh, the whole week. And here, this is a fluid aspect, we are talking about um, taking inspired action or intuitive action too. Uh, this is about uh, taking ideas that could have emerged with the sextil between Mercury in Capricorn and Neptune in Pisces that we have recently. Uh, ideas that we can descend to the matter because with Mars in Capricorn we are um, doing concrete things. So uh, this is about building dreams or um, it is a, also a good moment to take the initiative to begin something that is linked with uh, uh, you know, uh, a service to the collective. This is very linked with Neptune in Pisces. So it, it is a very good transit to construct. And then we have Venus in, in trine with uh, Uranus in Taurus. This is already active too. It is going to be perfected the, the day of the new moon, uh, February 9th and is on track the, all the way to. This is a, a fluid aspect to generate uh, changes in the relationship with ourselves, in objectives and goals that have a lot of value for us uh, and relationships too, of course, because Venus is associated with that. So we can uh, like innovate in our relationships, bring in changes that we can implement in the long term too, because everything with Venus in Capricorn is to persevere in things that, that it is con constructing too. Um, so it is also a good, a good, a very good transit. I already mentioned that Venus is creating also squares with karma nodes. Uh, so I, I already did a video. I'm going to leave that in the description. And the last thing that I wanted to comment about the new moon, uh, something that I forgot to tell, is that uh, it's doing a sextile with uh, the north node in Aries and a trine with the south node in Libra. So this is telling, this is uh, helping us more to open ourselves to the new, to go to the unknown and to open the evolutionary path for us. 
uh, letting go of maybe relationships or maybe ways of relating ourselves that are not collaborating with this new reality that we are advancing. So this new moon is opening this cycle of six months that is going to be full of changes. I think that 2024 is a year that we are all going to remember. So, um, okay, family, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.